Thailand swing it wide. The chances of Sri Lanka will depend on how good their defense will be today. Because Thailand will run everything at Sri Lanka, having seen that first game. They're not going to sit back and watch. They want to try and crunch up to Sri Lanka as they're doing now. And see if they can actually put some points early on the board. Sri Lanka have a very good chance if they defend well and uh, stick to their strengths of, uh, of getting a very good result here today. But I shall hesitate to say anything until I see the first five minutes, mate. As Riza Mubarak has to go back and uh, does well. Settles up and just bangs the ball down, down the park. Doesn't go into touch. Not a great result. He should have got touched there. Crunch time, Guy and Viratna just misses that. He should have really cut at that player. Little cut out pass. He misses again. Thailand a little isolated. Only one player against three Sri Lankan shirts, the white shirts. Clifford made is gonna come down to see how efficient Thailand will be in these first five minutes. But they'd like to see, we'd like to see what they're gonna do. I mean, will they you know grind, grind the game? Will they try and kick behind Sri Lanka? Will they try and run it with their hands? Let's see. It's something that everybody has been talking about. Well, they're going to be throwing everything at each other because who are going to get into the score books first will have the advantage. So definitely they're going to go all out from the right go. Too true. Thailand uh, deciding that they will play the short game. But in the process, referee sees something he doesn't like. Here, guys. Must release. Must release Tackle on the deck, says referee. Tackle release. Back here. Just go back, please. Tactical release as uh, now I'll just try to check exactly what the penalty was for. So Thailand nominate the stick straight away. He's about uh, 45 meters outside and the kicking tee comes across. So the first penalty for Thailand and uh, their number 13, I think it is, decides that he's going to go for the sticks. So very important that you try and get the points on the board. So let's have a look. Is it uh, the number 13 or is it the uh, fly half? I'm not too sure I can really see him. It is the number 15, sorry. The fullback, Chachai. Sorry, sorry. Uh, Warong Khan. Warong Khan. Warong Khan, mate. Here we go. Do apologize for changing your family name, but uh, hopefully that'll <laughs> sort out as we go along. That was a good one. Warong Khan goes back. He's a lefty, so he'll go back. Well, he had a good game versus Kazakhstan the other day. Too true. A lot of points through the boots. Go across uh, and up against the wind, so he's going to have to try and uh, make sure of that he uh, considers that fact as well. Once he factors that in, he'll try and get it through the uprights. Superb angle. Has he got the legs? Oh, uh, just underneath. The Riza Mubarak safely collects. It's a 22 restart. He just didn't, uh, he got a little bit too much material on that kick. Had he uh, angled it a bit better, he might have cut through the, the wind because there's a very strong breeze coming right across the ground. From the clubhouse right across towards the Colts cricket ground behind us. Uh, so here's Riza with the 22 restart. Decides to go nice and long, which is a good option. There's Wong Kron again at this time. Thailand decide. This is what they did very effectively. And uh, Riza's nice inside the 22. Calls for the mark very sensibly. Takes it pretty quickly too. Beautiful. Good gain. He gets uh, 25, 30 meters, but... Referee says he was outside the 22. Oh dear, oh dear. He's are shaking his head because uh, what he did was take the mark just inside the 22 and he stepped outside the 22 and he comes straight back to the 22. So a little bit of a mistake there. That was a, it was a close call. We should have a take, I mean, we should take a look at the replay there. Because I was just watching the line. He was just almost like on top of the line. Well, I think it's uh, the referee's call, so we uh, can only make a little comment as uh, Thailand get a very, very good uh, line-out ball. Uh, nicely done. Asita Pereira steps up to the mark nicely. So there you go, referee's hand up, playing the advantage. Sri Lanka decide they're going to go. Padib Lianage couldn't hold on to it clean. Gets bundled into... And the ball comes down. So uh, these are early days yet. And this is some time that this is the time you've got to try and settle up uh, as much as you can, Clifford, because, you know, the nervous energy is being dispelled. You're trying to work out what you're supposed to do. You've talked about it uh, for weeks on end. And here we are now, crunch time against Thailand. We watch them play. Now it's a matter of seeing what we can do to counter anything that they can do. So it's important time now. Well, I was talking to uh, Yostir Rajpaksa the other day after the game. So what he was saying is, 
uh, it was the, the kicks actually the uh, score from the boots made uh, I mean it took the pressure yeah. off the forwards a little so definitely because the previous game when the, when they were going in for the half time it was 6-3 so definitely they must be looking forward to get some points on the board something similar 2-2 Rajapaksa Nama with ball taken at the front as they always did little uh, static ball there they look like they're going to work it oh dear oh dear oh dear they just uh, overran in the process and a little boot there got the thing dislodged the ball from uh, the uh, Sri Lankan player Rizam Ubarak settles it up there quite nicely the Sri Lanka arrive in numbers and now Viratna Satya hands to uh, Jehan who runs up nicely rock form we are out in the Fazir Maja overran ball went back Sandun Herat this is Sri Lanka just trying to settle up a little bit Here we are, back it up. playing left back and right we are out in again Chanal Dias to sorry sorry Fernando Asit the Pereira does well to stand up in the tackle Henry Dr. Ranadunga sorry he there as well he starts walking as well this is good ball for Sri Lanka now Riza Mubarak with a little chip over the top into space ball takes towards the touch line ties hesitate very good pressure this is what Sri Lanka need they need to put the pressure turn Thailand around and put the game behind them and that's what they're trying to do so good passage of play and uh, Sri Lanka good advance good stuff here Shan is a good move a lot of pressure on the tie there it's a good kick and good charge down so you should maintain this pressure now we are back in the Sri Lanka is back in the uh, Thai territory so hopefully hopefully they'll maintain this pressure yes very much so they just first time they've actually got inside the Thai 22 so uh, now Raja Vaksa with the uh, throw in taken nicely by uh, Shanal Dais at the front that's a good combination working for them and Sri Lanka now just trying to uh, drive their legs a little bit doing well they're walking and talking excellent drive now the ball goes to deck but he stands up again well done this is what Sri Lanka have practiced a lot Fazir Maja trying to get through getting through the first tackle sets up nicely here goes to the Rajapaksa and at number 9 deputizing Viratna of course uh, gets caught up a lot because he plays as an extra forward oh dear harsh pass from Viratna to Shanal Dias couldn't collect cleanly but rather than collecting the ball Shanal was focused on the tackler Captain. so lost the side of the Captain. captain's Captain. being called up Let's have a listen. Talk to your back. They're up too flat. They're up in front of the last man's feet. Okay, offside. Take, take a step back, please. Well, that's very good advice. Talk to your back. There's Dias. Yes, he did take his eyes off the ball, but uh, referee saying to the tie line and the skipper, talk to your backs. They're up front. They're up uh, too close. I'm going to give you a warning, and the next I'm going to call it. So that's good advice from the referee, and fair play as well. That's nice to see. We've been talking in the previous game. The yes. referee has been controlling the game very well. Referee Needham just getting it right. Of course, we're now down to the uh, three calls. It's uh, Crouch. Steady. No, before the set. Crouch. Set. He wants it absolutely steady. Front throw. Scrum time. Important that you get the advantage and get steady. underneath. Sri Lanka need to get underneath these ties. Interesting to see what the pack yes. weights are. Sri Lanka packing about 100. 800 and kg, 800 kg plus, 11 kg, good from Sri Lanka. But Thailand, done well. What has the referee seen that he doesn't like? He's got playback. Was it a forward pass? Yes, he says forward pass. Lucky for Sri Lanka because uh, that Thai winger was away. He was motoring up and Sri Lanka couldn't get to him. If you saw that replay, he just uh, stretched out, but he just couldn't get to the player. Shandi the advantage of having the assistant referee with the call from the assistant referee there. Well, yes, that's uh, good coordination. Referees are all wide up, so we can hear what I'm saying. That adds to the special. Watch, watch this now. Yoshida gets his man, which is the number eight, and that forward pass. Look at Sarang here. Tries as much as he can. But there uh, was nowhere near, and Fazi was doing the cover-up work. Seven, stay down. Here's Saranga. Viratna now. Gets through that first tackle. Needs the support there now. Nicely set, Sri Lanka. 
and Raja Paksa driving through. Very well done. Nice to set up. Everybody needs to move up with this ball. Turnover ball, but referee says come back. Sri Lanka earned the penalty. Well, now, gentlemen, number five, roll away. Roll away, says referee number five, Thailand, yellow number five. Wasn't rolling away. Sri Lanka get the luxury of a penalty. And uh, Riza Mubarak will probably step up to the mark. Having a shot at goal. Sticks are nominated. Here's the now Rajapaksa. Does what he's required to do. Sets the ball behind. And then there was somebody there on the deck. Thank you. Just hands and not rolling away. So as referee saw either way. I thought it was hands, but the referee seemed better. This is important time for Sri Lanka, Clifford. This is where we have to settle, try and get some points on the board. And uh, this is Mubarak. He's got 31 career points in the Asian Five Nations. So uh, important time for him as well. Nice to be able to get a first kick over. Then the confidence gets better. You calm down. The nerves get better. Also, Riza had a good game in the previous occasion. It's two days back. It's very much kickable distance. Normally bread and butter for him. Let's have a look. Yes, thank you very much. Riza Mubarak, Sri Lanka, I will thank you, mate. And uh, he runs back a lot better than he's, uh, when he got to the kick. As, uh, she's uh, been here conscientiously for the second game as well. Wonderful sight. Well, there you go. That's the score. Three points to nil. Sri Lanka gets on top of Thailand. Oh, it's, it's, it's a slender lead. I have to build on from here. 11 minutes gone in this uh, second match today. All of you watching live on CSN. Enjoy, because this is a spectacular action. As Thailand take a long high ball, taken cleanly by Saranga, decides to hit up. He does really well. Still going, pops the ball up. Oh, Viratna just couldn't hold on. Thailand being uh, given that advantage. And they'll carry on playing. Fast ball, put up by the number 12 for, uh, for Thailand. City Chai Dusatong. Chanel Dias. Oh dear. Dias thought he was open play, but in fact, uh, referee says uh, you're offside. So, Thailand straight back. And uh, an opportunity for them to uh, even up the score. So these are things that Sri Lanka have to be conscious and wary of. As uh, Clifford takes a break and SW sits in. It's uh, very important. Just 12 minutes gone. And it looks like Thailand will uh, take that penalty and be able to stop this. Looks like a bread and butter kick for him. But having said that, it's so important, Chang'e, that we get points on the board. Then we settle down to playing what is our format. Yeah, absolutely right, Sean. But I just want to see whether we we'll see the replay whether Dyer stopped seven points and gave away the three. Well, it's one of those things, sometimes you have to make that sacrifice and uh, you settle for whatever you can, or at least whatever you can get away with. <laughs> Here's the number 15 now, Warang Khan for uh, Thailand, just focusing, the left footer comes up, gives it a decent whack, straight through the uprights or not, he's missed it. Missed it. My goodness. Two kicks, he's missed regulation kicks. Very, very uh, different for him because he was the one who did all the, uh, the damage in that last game. My goodness gracious me, Sean. He missed that. And uh, definitely, I hope it stays this way. <laughs> and Sri Lankans will say, today was our day. Well, relief again. Are you uh, a little let off for Sri Lanka. Good uh, restart from Mafazio. Sanun and uh, Shanal Dias were looking to try and clatter the... the collection and the catch but unfortunately the ball was uh, taken back but uh, turn over ball this is good ball for Sri Lanka now they need to set up quickly Pazimaja Jebby's eye big Kishore Jehan does the work drives nicely but again loses it in the in the tackle and uh, Thailand strike back early this is uh, three times now this has happened to Sri Lanka they really need to sort themselves out
Thailand need to uh, try and settle up themselves, but Sri Lanka in the meantime have to really tackle a little bit low. That line, and that's not something that the ideal defensive lines but set up on both sides really. Sri Lanka just saying, got the markers up. Here we go, Thailand. The call goes out, ready, get the defense lines up for Sri Lanka. Ball coming wide, little chip across. Good tackle, good tackle, Viratna. Put everything on that, Sandun Dias, uh, Sandun Herat rather does the clean up. Here's Nama Rajapaksa. Good gain from him. Sucking in three defenders. Viratna, beautiful ball, Risa Mubarak. Looking for Fatih they got numbers on the outside, Fazil. Oh! Rushed pass from Gayan Viratna. Had Dabre collected it, he was on the way. There's absolutely nobody there as players peel themselves off the deck. Good passenger play for Sri Lanka. Just needed a little bit of a softer pass. Have a look at this from Fazil. Beautifully done. And there's the crunch tackle from Viratna. Did really well to get the offload, but it needed to be a little softer. And Dabre, had he collected it, having said that, the wingman needs to collect. When you have free ball, Changa, you don't say anything but try and collect, even if you have to collect it with your teeth. Hold on to it. Here's that last tackle. Beautiful for Sri Lanka. Viratna, crunch time. A good clean up by the uh, third row forward there. Well, the player is still on the deck. The number 13 is still on the floor here, just in front of us. He got clattered, actually. That is what you call an absolute clatter. Cleaned out. Fabulous. Winded him completely. Viratna measured up. He's not a very big lad, but when he gets his job done, it's quite spectacular. Wonderful to see the commitment for Sri Lanka. And that's really inspiring. Early minutes, 16 minutes gone in this uh, second match. Three points to uh, nil Sri Lanka lead Thailand in a crunch game that uh, promises to go all the way down to the wire, Changa. I don't think this one's going to let up somehow. No, it'll go definitely certainly go down to the wire. Get the crowd. She's texting the scores. Well, she needs to text and say, I'm on TV. Because that's what she is. People are calling her up and saying, didn't you see you were on television? What were you doing texting? What's your network? I don't know. Maybe dialogue. <laughs> Ah, it better be dialogue, otherwise we'll get marched out of here. Thailand, well stolen Sri Lanka and Sherald Dias. Beautiful, Fazi Marja goes aerial. Sri Lanka needs to chase down. There's Wong Khan, does well on the left foot. Bangs it back the park, bangs it down the park with interest. Virata does the collection, thinks about it for a second. Riza Mubarak, beautifully done by Dabri, changes the angle of running. This is Sri Lanka now upping the pace a little bit, which is what they need to do. They need to use the ball, says referee. Oh! Referee says held up. I was going to say something else, but I'll bite my tongue, Chaka. I know, because he's, but he said he'd play on because he's, he's a, uh, and then entering on the off that, the ball was available to be played. All right, so he said held up. Ball's held up means it automatically goes to the other side, whoever carried it in. Yeah, because... It, uh, when it's available to play Thailand, carry it in, and they are responsible to bring it out. All right, so Sri Lanka, the luxury of a put in again. Front row, big front row. Satya Ranatunga, Nama Raj Baksa, Kisho Jehan. Watch them crunch in. Here we go. Oh, we're missing Terence Henry from the uh, startup line, right? Yes, uh, Satya Ranatunga took Henry's place. Good scrum ball, Sri Lanka. Nicely controlled. Goes the blind short side. Vazir Maja. Sandun Herat has a go himself. Well tackled by his opposite number. Just needed to maybe pop the ball over the top and take it off, but he didn't do that. If you uh, have a look at that replay, Sandun had the, the luxury of good ball. There it is. I thought he might have just a uh, little chip over the top would have been quite nice. I would have continued coming in rather than going out because the, the line out touches the, uh, another defender. Exactly, and the Thai uh, winger, the number 11 there for Thailand, um, Pitchit, Pitchit used that uh, outside line defender really well. Again, stolen. Rajapaksa goes in, sets up. Beautifully done by uh, Dias. He's actually outplayed his opposite number. 
Nienege looking for the inside pass. Gets Sandun there. Beautiful. Herat comes in on the cutout. But unfortunately, couldn't get the offload. He done all the good work coming across from his wing. As Dabri uh, does a tackle. Guy we there's pressure again for Thailand this is good work from Sri Lanka getting the tile before they hit the gain line hold them up I think is a call Jian's gonna hold him up he's not gonna let anybody go down what is that taken in by gold sorry taken in by gold White scrum. Sri Lanka ball, really well goal. done by Sri Lanka. This is good Very play, uh, Changa. Uh, good defensive play after having position and losing it, and then trying to retrieve it by uh, using the law into its effect. Now, well, yes, we've done it twice now. So Thailand uh, guilty of uh, just not being able to deck that ball. And we go to our first water break. Sri Lanka holding up, three points ahead. Could have easily been a little bit better. But uh, these are very, very tough times. These uh, the first 10 minutes, first 12 minutes, you're going to try and settle up. And once you do that, then Sri Lanka will be in a better place right now. Sri Lanka slightly in front, would you say, Changa, in terms of the set play. But uh, we've done really well with the lineouts. Possession-wise, we've taken lineouts away from Thailand. We won our scrums, we won our lineouts, we won their lineouts as well. So we're in front. We're in front, but uh, on the board, if you look at the board, it's only three points in front. And that's just one uh, scoring opportunity. Either you'll be equal or you'll be in, uh, Thailand can get in front. If we can have all the lineouts, we can have all the uh, position, the territory, but we must convert it into points. Two true. Critical factors. There's, uh, thank you very much, Mr. Chang, pointing out the critical factor. You've got to try and get it right. You've got to try and get points on the board. You've got to make sure that we settle up. Everything that you have planned over the weeks, everything that you have planned from the start of the tournament comes down to now. It's execution under pressure and that's the key because pressure is the one that changes players, changes plans, changes thinking. We're just uh, a little bit into the first half. We're 12 minutes into this first half and you can see pictures as uh, Skipper Rajfax comes across, has a word with his line. The, the Nienege, the Gavirat, the combination is a lethal combination for Sri Lanka and for Kandy. They've been playing for such a long time. They understand how each other breathes. They know the sound of each other coughing. They understand all of that. And that's what you really need. You go Viratna at 9, Maja at 10, Guy and Viratna, Padib Nienege. That combination has been playing together, I think, for a good four years now. Uh, perhaps for longer as well. But uh, we hope we can utilize that a little bit better. As uh, SW takes a break and uh, Sean Kamasinga joins us on commentary. We are up now with ball. Maja, little cut out inside Dabere. Runs into his own traffic. Unfortunately, accidental offside. So, strong ball. Little training ground errors, uh, Sean. We kept the ball in hand much more than we did. That was what Coach Ravin Duplessis was saying that they were going to do against this Thai team. Take them on up front and try and keep the ball in hand more as we see Dabare running into Gayan Viraratna who had a runner decoy in front of him. And this is stuff that will change if we had more game practice. But unfortunately that's uh, not possible in this format. Too true. And here we go. Thailand have the luxury of uh, a put in now. A scrum for them. Let's see how they do with this. And let's see how strong Sri Lanka eight can be. Good opportunity for Chatri Wanadit, the captain of the Thailand team. Good channel one ball and he'll go on the right for sure. Good but a scrum, great Sri scrum. Lanka. Fantastic scrum from Sri Lanka. Super work by this uh, rejigged front row. Satya Ranatunga coming back into it. He was a replacement, got a yellow card for his trouble in the last game. And he's partnering Kishor Jehan, the tight head, alongside Nama Rajapaksa. A good 250 kilos there, uh, Shan, if not more. Absolutely, and this is something we were talking about even at selection. We were looking at 150, at least 850 kg pack. Um, we're coming close to that now. We're about 811. Uh, had we had the, the luxury of uh, Mr. Kal Hara, it was about 135 kg to the equation would have been absolutely wonderful but in the process uh, he copped a very freak injury so but he'll be sat watching very eagerly and that's pretty much the future of uh, Sri Lanka front row the likes of Kalhara Satya Ranatunga and uh, good to see uh, Nama Rajapaksa in the front row as well carrying on the good work he's actually uh, worked a lot on his fitness 
and uh, very impressive with the ball carry that's what you need from your front row just hard work really the grind the grunge all of that uh, ugly stuff that goes on on the deck that's what you need them and that's what you need them to actually be doing on a regular basis so let's have a look there you go great technique at the front by Kisho Jehan he's just the right size for a prop forward we've seen this before from Veera Ratna is it good it's a drop no. goal just off the number eight's pass but it's just wide of the right upright good thought just couldn't execute it came through the legs of the number eight it was all part of a plan and uh, had plenty of time with Veera Ratna but just couldn't uh, get it right through the uprights went right of the the right upright so uh, we'll go back for a 22 restart Here's uh, Wong Korn, the uh, number 15 for uh, Thailand. He'll try and go deep, probably. Seen uh, Roshan Viduratna do that a few times, Sean, at uh, club rugby as well as for Sri Lanka in Singapore a couple of seasons ago. That time he got it through the post as we see Pradeep Lian again knocking on another difficult pass given to him by Fazil Marija. I'm not too sure why they're indulging in harsh passing so close by. Uh, they need to try and change this. This is third time now they've popped it up out of the, out of the sock. So uh, really needs uh, to change. With Thailand go aerial and deep. Riza is uh, nicely there for the cover. And so is Viratna. So it's all gone quiet for a little bit. As Mubarak decides. Didn't get touched. Criminal offense. Yes, that's a terrible mistake because now the Thais have an opportunity to counter attack. And it's a very good up and under. Nicely taken by Dabre. Absolutely solid. Uh, spent a lot of time in practice over the last couple of uh, days. Catching ball. Uh, ben Gollings was giving them aerial stuff, which they didn't like. Oh, beautiful. Nice hit up. Let's see what they're going to do from here now. They got, they got the luxury numbers. Here we go. Saranga. Hot ball. He needs to pop it up. Major finds Dalun up. He's going in the corner. Got the legs. Got the arms. Absolute try time. This is what it's all about. This is what you come for practice. This is why you spend the time running down the side. Absolutely well done. Nicely linked. Saranga changed the whole direction of everything. Perfect from a number eight. See the way he pulled in that defender. Sucked him in. Popped the ball up. Well done, Southern Herat, Sri Lanka. Must try in the morning. That'll give Sandun some confidence, Sean. Great to see him back in the try scoring way because he's come back from an injury and he didn't have a great outing in the first match against Taipei. You can see Saranga dummying outside, sending the defender the wrong way, coming back in, finding Fazil, who's really got uh, butter on his fingers today. Sadun Herat, great fend off there. Tries to pull him back, the uh, Thailand defender, but he's got uh, too much momentum. This is the pass that made the try. Beautifully done, going the wrong way and passing over his shoulder great fence Sean you would have done a few of those in your time and Just diving over the right corner absolutely gives you so much gas when you see that corner flag and a little bit of space in front and then you got to focus Sandun still had a lot of work to do and then he did that really well uh, the guilty party was that uh, the tie in number 15 who really should have uh, clattered Sandun had he gone low he decided to go high and then got fended off uh, got the handoffs just about his shoulder height but the, the hard work that Saranga did and the offload to his inside pass for Sazi Maja is a good sevens combination because all three play sevens together they understand each other really well the running lines and that's what they share and that's the experience and the knowledge that comes Riza has he got the legs oh just short but still the confidence from that try will do Sri Lanka's line an awful lot of good and Sandun missed out the last game three opportunities he messed up but this today he's taken the first one and, and, and taken it home nice to see Sri Lanka go up now Eight points to three, Thailand. Let's see what the reply will be. Riza Mubarak not having the greatest of uh, days on the field. His school buddy, Niroshan Fernando, who's kicking, uh, carrying the kicking tee for him today, just having a few words of encouragement and advice at this Havelock's ground where he plays. So he would have told him, a mate, from this corner, this is the way the wind blows. So start it a little differently. Warren Khan Kamket gets ready with the kickoff for Thailand. There's a high ball now. Saranga calls for it, collects cleanly or not, but the ball's gone back. Sets up now, Sri Lanka on the clean up. Riza looking to try and link up from inside the 22. Fazil Maja! This is good news. They need to link up now on the offload. Lina Gay on the outside. Numbers! Liliana! Has he got the legs? He's going to go corner flag. Needs to pop now. Guy on Miranda. 
Oh my goodness! Oh, that's <laughs> all of that hard work undone. And there's uh, Mr. Chilla. Where did he turn up from? <laughs> but either way, have a look at this. Chilla's turned up. We runner tries to fend off. Good pop. We runner stops. Gets past his brother. Runs into the tackle. Oh, Samun on the outside. And that was Kishore Jehan trying to uh, die for that ball, but it's all undone. Fabulous work from Sri Lanka. Hard work. Here they are now. Look at those faces. They know what they have to do. Good to put the pressure. Unfortunately, for them, they couldn't score the points. But still, pressure, pressure, pressure. Fantastic break from Fazil Maraj on his own 10-meter line. He knows exactly when to go. And uh, that was just some of his experience. He's so explosive off that start from a standing start even. Roshan Veeraratna has lost a bit of gas, but Shatrit won it, he lets the ball squirt out. Again, not great control. Southern Herat goes back. Desperate kick from the uh, the Thai fullback there. And here's Riza Mubarak, looking to try and create some space. Southern Herat goes again, looking for numbers. He's got gas. He's going to go on the outside. Needs a link ball. This time we're good. Oh, yes, try time here again. Makes up with very quickly. Sri Lanka strike absolutely razor sharp. This is what it's all about. I said the kick was a little daft. And uh, beautifully done by Riza. Sandun makes up. Absolute brilliant. Sri Lanka strike. And very efficient indeed. Finishing. Pradeep Leon against such an experienced campaign. I knew exactly which line to hold there in support. I knew he had the man outside. But knew also that he had enough of a step off his left foot to come back inside. First career try. Uh, for the Asian Five Nations for Pradeep Lianagay, which is really a sad story because he should have scored a lot more. Uh, but it's great to see him here. Southern Herat looks for the basketball pass. Here's Lianagay. One-on-one, anyone in the world, I'll, I'll put Lianagay on that. Absolutely. He's got the button legs. He's got amazing stuff when he wants to play. And like you said, very unfortunate he's been away from rugby for a while. Hopefully, he's got another two or three seasons that he will be available for Sri Lanka. And all that other stuff is done and dusted and put in a cupboard somewhere and the cupboard thrown away. This is what Sri Lanka rugby is all about. The nation getting together, the clubs getting together. We talked about that a lot over the last couple of months. What we need in Sri Lanka is unity. What we need in our country is unity. And today, we're seeing a lot more because Thailand are a fairly solid side. But if you start running at them as Sri Lanka have done now... You start to turn them around and it becomes difficult for any side really. And that's what Sri Lanka has done very efficiently. More confidence. They scored that first try and they've come back straight away with the second. This is what you want to see. 15 points up. Thailand shot. Well, it looks like uh, Chila's little 90 meter dash was the last bit of action we've seen from him. Up Terence up. Henry on the field in his place. I was going to say, Chila running 90 meters means that his run is all 40 minutes. All at once. So it's one of those things. Nice done by uh, Raja Paksa. Good ball for Dabare. He's got legs. He's got gas too. He's got punch. And he's going to go. Yes, he's done. Try time Dabare. Sri Lanka fly. What a try. What a brilliant individual try by Chamara Dabare. Brilliantly set up by a nice little basketball pass from the skipper, Yoshi the Raja Paksa. But he had three defenders to beat. 60 meters or 70 meters to cover Shan and Robin Duplessis used the word X factor that's exactly what this guy's got it can't be his first career try because he scored one the other day against Chinese Taipei it's his second career try in the Asian Five Nations what a run this is what it's all about when you got the magic turn it on and turn it on under pressure at the right time everything works here's the first one Boof, get out of the way let's have a look at the second one thinks about the outside Comes close, slows down, has a look. Have a look at this. Oh, this is, uh, I thought he was going to have another one to fight with. No, he's done that. Fly, I can try. And everything else works. So, well done, Dubs. Suck in as much oxygen as you can, mate, because it's going to work a little bit longer. He's a set up to the mark. All of these, uh, the three-quarter line for Sri Lanka is an exceptional three-quarter line. If you look at the quality of that line, the experience, the international experience, given good ball, they are absolutely lethal. Dabre adds the, uh, another dimension to it. Makes it perfect. The good thing about Dabre is he doesn't need good ball, Sean. You give him half a sniff and he takes a mile. It's, uh, it's a fantastic run. He scored a brilliant individual try in the first game against uh, Taipei. Really set the there it crowd is alight. Yeah, two. Here you go. One. Poof. Get out of the way. Here's the second one coming up. Just steps inside nicely. 
and that Thai player absolutely guilty of uh, not doing anything really and there he goes flying away for that try these are classics for Sri Lanka and these are things that he will never forget the opportunity you try you train you wait you wait and when you get opportunity take it brilliant Sri Lanka now 22 up very very strong in that first half another try will give the confidence uh, and uh, make it a different uh, game plan as well I been running nicely been doing what he does best from the old days from his school days nice we are up now solid at the back Bubarak goes uh, across the park I'm not sure why he did that straight down the throat of the uh, the Thai uh, defender the number 11 pops the ball out as he got tackled referee says carry on Yoshida plays on doesn't stop which is wisely done by the skipper because you've got to play the referee's whistle, uh, Shanaka. I'm not sure why anybody would stop just because the ball popped up. Good work on the deck there by uh, Yoshida Rajapaksa. Pichit Ying Charoen scored a try in the last game against Kazakh Town for Thailand. So you see uh, the first lady telling her companion exactly what Yoshida should have done there. Mums the world over. No, I think she was just disagreeing with what the referee did actually she was saying why didn't he carry on playing why he was doing the right thing wasn't he she was asking and i think the expert next to her was saying yes i think he was <laughs> fair enough as we all are trying to uh, jump up as much as we can it comes down to simple things shanaka because this team is now flying but i think they need to settle a little bit more he's been very open play right now i don't think they can do this uh, all the way through he's got to now have a little change think about a little bit more grind up front and see what they can do because they're going to have to do that come uh, the next occasion and this half they need to get through yes because they've got to realize and i think the coaches will absolutely realize that they're not going to have this sort of uh, bad defense and let's face it, there have been some great running from Sri Lanka, but there has been some pretty ordinary defense by uh, the Thais as well. You're not going to get that same sort of uh, average defense from a Kazakhstan team, which look really fired up today, Sean. Completely different team from what we saw playing against Thailand in the first match, and they're going to be really annoyed at having played two games at 2 o'clock in the afternoon when they play Sri Lanka on Saturday. Yep, and they're going to try and take it out of the Sri Lankan pack for starters, but Sri Lanka will be ready, hopefully. Here's Bo Viratna, Fazi Maja, looking for that big cutout. Nicely preset plan. Riza Mubarak for luxury on the outside. Herat needs to go. He didn't need to slow down there, unfortunately. Not sure why he did slow down, but anyway. The pass yeah. was perfect for Mubarak. He should have been Do flying that. onto it and flying down the uh, the wingman there. He should have used the outside line. Didn't do that. Nicely popped up by Sharo Fernando. So here's Viratna looking for his opposites and uh, looking for his uh, link man. Lienage, twinkle toes. Beauty. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Passed it to the wrong man in the process. Ying Charoen getting in the way of that pass from Lianage, but he did well there to beat the first defender with his uh, little sidestep. <laughs> Trying to run it out of Jeez. trouble, the Thais. They'll want to get on the board before half time. Yes. Thank you very much, Chang'a. I was just come up with the, with the wonderful wipe for the microphone. So important. Now that I'm starting to smell like a rose bottle. And uh, Henry needs to get out of the way. Thailand all over the park. Oh! <laughs> Warren Khan come get to the number 15 for Thailand. Uh, Sean has been having a bit of a shocker. He had an outstanding game against Kazakhstan on Saturday, on Sunday rather, on Easter Sunday. But today he's really been uh, woeful with the boot and with the ball in his hand and at uh, defense because he's let a few tries go uh, his way as well. So it has been a very up and down tournament for him so far. Well, mate, uh, we talk about things, and the bottom line is about being physical. Uh, it's something that we've talked a lot about in practice, about the physicality of the Sri Lankan uh, forward eight, plus the three quarters. If you get a chance to clatter, clatter, don't stand back. And that's something we're doing very effectively with Thailand, and they don't like it, and they're standing back now, and that's uh, causing the errors on their side. This is something that uh, Sri Lanka have really been talking about, which is good to see in execution as well. Viratna having an outstanding game so far. He's such a little star he plays as a, an extra forward all the time as saranga now needs to link up as yoshita comes in to try and uh, bridge that ball and set up for sri lanka they've been doing that well sharo nicely now rajapaksa beautiful pop-up from ranatonga shenal dias beautiful absolutely forward play just crunches in front of him as we run the goes wide 
numbers for Sri Lanka decoy runners again Barbary has to think about it this time he's got to take too many but manages to offload leaves the ball back referee's seen something Sri Lanka earned the penalty for offside play Gabriel sucks in some oxygen which he needs to absolutely delightful I would like to see that uh, that uh, absolute fend off by Shenal Dias that epitomizes the game so far here's Dabri now just pushes past one but uh, runs into clatter but uh, you have gotta see that uh, replay of Shenal Dias slightly before Dabri got hit hard so he's just having to spend some time he's on the deck now as uh, right, Buddhi the, uh, the, the physio for Sri Lanka who's done some sterling work for the side he was with Sri Lanka when they went to the Philippines as well. He's a man who doesn't have a clock. He's out 25, uh, 27 hours of the 24-hour day, really. He's available for Sri Lanka. And that's part of the man management team. So important is Riza Mubarak soaking in some fluid and some water back. Uh, with an opportunity now, we'll take the penalty, rest up. That's what they have to do now. Soak in the time as... Uh, Shanaka takes off to uh, do some uh, public announcements on the big PA no, mic yeah, for the yeah. ground. Second. As a Thai player also on recovery, getting a little bit of a chat from their physio. He's still he's flat out. He doesn't look like he's going to stand up. He seems pretty flat, so let's hope that uh, it's just uh, a little bit of a heat to story. They're not uh, trying to move him. Oh, dear. Okay, it looks that, like... That, that uh, looks a bit serious, Sean. Uh, Sean. Yep. The Thai player who's yeah, down. Yeah. Well, yes, uh, and he's uh, not moving. They really need not to. They just must uh, leave him where he is. Those experienced medics know exactly what to do. They're trying to get a neck brace for him as well. And it's Dr. Sieverly. so important that uh, a player will be uh, will be kept as um, as steady as possible in this situation rather than try and shift him if they're going to shift him everybody needs to pitch in and make sure there is uh, an even there you go they're calling uh, more people over i think the medics are coming over with those bags they need to try and see get a neck brace on him because i think he's pretty much passed out and there's sean as well here's dabre thinks about the step in runs into tackle but then the next tackle hits him really hard Hits him square, that number 12 there. Uh, Surichai Das Tuang. Uh, he actually squared Darbury up, and that's why he's just uh, being rubbed down. In the meantime, here's the player on the deck. Yes, I think there goes the neck brace, as I was saying. Very important, because you're not quite sure exactly what the situation is. Uh, the player's knocked out. He's uh, solid uh, on the deck, so you need to just make sure that there is no extra movement. That, that extra movement uh, could be a, a very costly factor. And that's why the neck brace comes on in the meantime the heat wave that Sri Lanka is enjoying wherever you are watching you understand what it means now imagine playing in the middle for 80 minutes <laughs> let's hope this plays well let's uh, we'll try and get an update for you you can see a little bit of movement on him which is good news they would have used the salts to try and revive him and uh, there you go you see the uh, the the medic slightly behind his neck making sure that there's no movement on his head or the neck and that uh, the shoulders are still as now they will strap him onto the stretcher it's not a sight you want to see but uh, it's a uh, part of the game Clifford there's very little you can do about it when this thing happens sometimes uh, you you tend to uh, try and dismiss it from your mind but it you know it's something that you have to learn to live with and you grow to learn to live with as well it's one of those things well this seems to be the first serious injury on the tournament so far there's a few first today. We had two red cards, uh, one to uh, Chinese Taipei and one for Kazakhstan. And now we've got uh, a stretcher injury, which is not something you want to see. Um, so let's hope that uh, this player is okay. Once he gets back into the ambulance, they'll run the tests and uh, we'll know quickly exactly what's going on. In the meantime, a fabulous crowd here at the Havelock Park. Absolutely at the edge of their seats, delighted by what Sri Lanka are doing. Wonderful to see. Visitors to our country also coming here for the rugby. Rugby has now raised itself and its profile. It is the fastest growing sport in the world. And you can begin to understand there are the CSN team with those uh, wonderful cameras. All of the pictures that you see and enjoy, the slow motion replays, the graphics on screen, all part of a, a great plan. And well done to the CSN team. 
in the OB sat there, the directors screaming and shouting as, uh, as generous applause for the player who's being stretched off now and Thailand will have to resettle now. This is difficult for a side when that happens. You have to refocus the mind, bring it back down and Thailand should really, in theory, just huddle up because it's a penalty for Sri Lanka. Well, back on. And it's a clear penalty, Sean. Uh, just before that incident, uh, the Thai players were all over the field, so definitely it was a penalty. So it was a good call and very much kickable distance. Sure, Reza Mubarak going to extend the lead. It's a bread and butter story for Reza. He's done that quite effectively, so Sri Lanka advanced nicely. Thank you very much for some excellent uh, forwards and three-quarter play. They've uh, linked really well. And uh, their hands have been really good. Sri Lanka 25, Thailand nil. As Dr. Sivali oversees the passage of the player into the uh, ambulance. Sean Moore is also there just to make sure. As the director of the uh, tournament from HSBC. So in the meantime, play resumes in the middle. And the focus of the players as to what they can do to create pressure and to create some points for themselves. Before that lengthy break, uh, Sri Lanka had a good momentum. So hope nothing has... Nothing has happened or nothing has occurred to damage that. A little bit of football there from the, uh, the likes of Shenal Dias. <laughs> they should have really collected it. Sri Lanka, no one put their hand up. And uh, there is uh, Nathanol Sopa Chirarit who's gone off. And the next play is on. So there's uh, a replacement coming in. Another penalty. So Sri Lanka now in Thailand really... Very, very poor in terms of giving penalties away. Very indisciplined, and I think it's a concern for the Thai management as to how many penalties they've given away in the last 15 minutes. Well, mostly for, for, for being offside. So definitely it's a concern. They have to think about it, they have to talk about it, come back strongly. In the meantime, it's about a couple of more minutes to go for the halftime. Yes, it's about uh, 37 minutes plus maybe another three minutes for injury time. So... Uh, good rest for the Sri Lanka players they'll be happy for these penalties because they get time to recover and get some more oxygen down their lungs and uh, soak in a little bit more Riza enjoying his time wasn't a perfect start for him but it's got a lot better so uh, it's something that Sri Lanka are now trying to settle they'd like to go into the, the dressing room with a 28 point luxury here it is as he got the legs Certainly has. Beautiful kicking from Riza Mubarak. Absolutely delightful. Referee said half time. And he's measured it up. So we're going to go to half time now with Sri Lanka. Absolutely outstanding in that last quarter of the first half. Splendid play from the uh, Sri Lankan three quarter line. Linking up with the forwards. Good set play from Sri Lanka. Up front, the battle they have certainly won against Thailand. And this has been a big surprise because I think everybody was talking about how strong Thailand would be up front. Sri Lanka have completely dismissed them. And come the second half, it's going to be a lot more interesting. Because now they have the luxury of a platform of 30 points or 28 points. Sri Lanka will now look to try and change a little bit and see what they can do to grind these ties into the ground and earn a little bit more points, Clifford. That's the whole story.